Okay, welcome to another prepared flight simulator video. This is prepared version 2.1 and we're going to do another uh, fly around of some part of the world. We're going to use the Cessna though, not the Raptor and that is because this request came from the Michael Superfan. He says, hey, thanks for another cool video. Doing a Cessna flight in Yosemite might be cool. You might want to check how it looks. Could be super boring. And he says, also, I was wondering which flight simulator you thought was best and why. Last question, what's the fan page? I couldn't find anything while searching. Uh, quickly, the fan page is uh, facebook.com forward slash orbiter space flight simulator. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. And as far as well, which flight sim I think is best, uh, maybe I'll talk about that a little bit here during this fly around. Um, I did a Google search to find out where we could go to get an airport for Yosemite, and uh, Yosemite National Park is in California, and I didn't really see anything here. It just says uh, FAT MCE, so I wasn't sure which one of these I needed, so I went to Wikipedia and did a search for Yosemite International Airport, found this, and I found that KFAT actually works in the simulator, so that's where we are at. We are at Kilo Foxtrot Alpha Tango, I believe. Let me start the stopwatch because when I'm inside of uh, prepared, I can't see my second monitor, it blacks it out, and I can't tell how far I am in the video. So let me turn off the menu bar again, I've got to right click and do that twice. Hopefully that'll get it rest at some point. Uh, let's go full power, take off, and have a look around. And we do not know, apparently, if this is going to be a great, oh my gosh, I can't believe how much some of these planes pull. And we don't know if this is going to be a really good fly around or not, because the guy commented said it could be super boring so we're just gonna find out let's take a look and boy I just I just don't even know how realistic that could possibly be for have to have a plane take off get 10 feet down the runway and just immediately like do a 90 degree turn to the left it seems like that can't possibly be right but maybe I'm wrong I'm not a real pilot so what do I know all right let's uh, check our elevator trim it's working and I, get, I suppose that he suggested the Cessna just because it's a slower moving craft and we could, um, you know, maybe take a look at things a little bit slower. So we'll see how that works out. So we are at Yosemite National Airport, but as far as where the park is at, uh, from here, I don't know. This is obviously some city of some kind, and it's not even like a, like a podunk type of city. It's got a little bit, some buildings to it. I have actually been to Yosemite National Park, believe it or not, but it was a long time ago. I was a wee little boy. Long enough that I do really don't have any conscious memories of it. Um, I said in another video, when, you know, when I was younger, my family tra kind of traveled all over the place out west. I've been to the been to Redstone, uh, Redwood National Forest, uh, Yosemite, Yellowstone, Glacier National Park in Montana, been up into been up into Canada, but we didn't do much up there. We just kind of went up above the border, looked around. I think we were in Quebec, Alberta, and I don't really remember much about Canada other than just kind of doing it. So, hmm, where is the park? I guess that's probably something I should have thought to look for before I started doing this. Let's go over that way. Some mountains over there. One thing I do like about like Cessnas and these smaller crafts is they're not so hypersensitive. And I guess maybe maybe if you got really used to, used to flying something like the Raptor, then these types of planes would feel like they were dead, like they don't move. But when you get used to flying these kinds of planes in a flight simulator, and then you go fly the Raptor and you touch the, the you touch the the control stick, and it's just like. Whoa know flies across the sky it's like wow that can't be healthy so you can see we're climbing a little bit as we're turning here and yeah we'll just kind of fly over towards the mountains and see what we see and if it turns out that there's nothing cool or obvious then well that's just how it's going to have to be Yeah, we'll head over this way. Come out of the turn. And I don't, off the top of my head, know what the big attractions are 
at Yosemite. Um, been to so many national parks that I get them confused as to like what what there is at which one. Because I know there's like you know all the geysers, like Old Faithful and all those. But I don't. I think that might have been in Yellowstone, not Yosemite. Probably Yellowstone. I do kind of remember going to that national park, the one that had all the geysers, and it was like all this, uh, there's, they had the, the, this wooden, you know, boardwalk set up where you could walk around the whole area, and, uh, there's like all this, like, sulfuric, sulfuric smell everywhere because of the, the earth is, you know, alive, basically, at these areas, and it's just gushing up all this stuff, all this, all this hot hot gases and hot water coming up out of the ground and there's just lots of uh what do you call it like limestone i guess that's you know just everywhere you look just everything's covered in like glassy looking limestone or or stalagmites or stalagmites whatever those things are called and i guess those things take long a long time to build up Although I saw this one video, this guy did those really interesting. He made a stalagmite. I think it's, I don't, I forget if the stalagmite or the stalagmite, which one of them comes from at the top, one of them comes up from the ground. But this one guy made one in his backyard in like 30 days. It's really interesting. Just out of like lime, like out of lime, just coming up out of a fountain and gushing out and coming down. And because he, he was just showing how it could be, you know, how they can form in a very short time actually without taking you know lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes so anyway let's look over here yeah it's a pretty area um again i don't really know where the park is at but at least we're getting to look at some mountains is that a airport below us no nope. Just a uh, strip of land. There's some kind of landing strip over there. That might be where I started off originally, because I originally loaded this and did a search for uh, just Yosemite, and I took whatever airport came up. And it was just some little strip like that, and I decided that wasn't good enough, but actually that might have been a better choice, because we'd already be over this far. But on the second look, I put in an actual airport ID. Looks like there's some kind of waterfall over there small one but we will head over that way and take a look it's probably about as far as we'll get because we're already close to seven minutes on this video so uh trying to keep these down to about 10 because i think it kind of gets a little boring when you're just flying around and you don't really have a target in mind and you don't have anything that you're trying to accomplish you know you're just kind of looking at scenery and stuff i don't know how interesting that is beyond you know just eight or ten minutes I had landing, uh, like pontoons, I could land in that little pond over there, or that lake. But yeah, it looks like it kind of has a lake filled up there coming down from the water out of the mountains and it trickles down there as well, a little bit of a waterfall. Kind of cool. Although it doesn't look like it's, you know, an animated effect or anything. Even in this version of Prepared, I believe all the water is kind of a static, non-moving I, I would like to do get some upgrades. I don't want to go overboard. Uh, you can really just dump a ton of money into flight sims. It's really ridiculous how much money you can spend on these things beyond, you know, the initial purchase. The initial purchase is really cheap. You know, especially if you get Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, the uh, Gold Edition. Now that's really pretty out there. That's really pretty. All those mountains, all that green, trees and stuff. But yeah, I mean, you can pick up a flight sim really cheap. Uh, Prepared's a little bit more expensive. It's like 59 I think, for this academic version. Uh, but that's because it's brand new and it has, you know, better technology and will be, should be better going into the future. You know, whereas Microsoft's flight sim is now dead. And I don't see any reason spending any money on a product that's never going to be updated again. Never going to be refreshed, never going to receive any kind of uh, patch fixes or anything. And in fact, my fear is that someday you won't even be able to play it because when you install Microsoft Flight Simulator 10, you have to activate the product. And they're done with it. They're not making any more money on it. So one of these days they're going to get bored with their product. 
and what what happens when they shut down their authentication servers and you go to reinstall your you go to reinstall and now you can't use it anymore maybe i don't know if maybe or maybe they'll just release one more final patch where they don't where you don't have to uh authenticate your key code anymore i don't know how they'll do that that's always something that i'm concerned about with you know digital uh copyright and all that type of thing these companies that want you to be always connected to the internet you know when their servers go down i mean you can't even play your single player mission or whatever i don't like stuff like that so anyway this was a uh, little bit of a fly around here of the yosemite area hopefully you enjoyed looking at it i did i again i just always like seeing terrain in these flight sims i martin released a new uh, look it was called I think it was called like a look of things to come on his orbiter channel which i think is called i think it's just youtube.com forward slash orbiter sim i think that's the right url uh, if i remember i'll put a link to it in the description of this video but he released a new video called a uh, a look of things to come and it's it's going to be great when orbiter has this type of terrain it may not be quite this sophisticated because orbiter is a free product and he can't you know obviously spend how much ever money it costs to buy rights for really high quality terrain maps and all that but i think a lot of that stuff is free free through various uh various avenues you know nasa or some weather sites or something i think they have various terrain mapping data that you can get and it's, and it's free but it's still up to you i think to provide all the the coverage of that of that mapping so but still what he posted on that video was really cool looking and it's going to make orbiter way better mainly i think for moon landings like going to the moon or even other moons in the solar system although i don't know how that's going to work if you have to have different terrain maps probably you have to have different terrain maps for all the different moons so i don't know but at least hopefully for the earth and the moon itself it will be a big improvement because it, it's just it's just it's fun to play with orbiter and land on the moon but it'll be way cooler when you go to the moon and you have to worry about you know if i lower my altitude too much i might run into a cavern wall or i might run into a, a hillside that's going to be a lot of fun so all right well we're well past uh, 10 minutes here so i'm gonna go ahead and close out and if you like this little fly around of yosemite leave a comment down below let me know what you thought uh and if i completely missed uh the 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 park all together and let me know maybe i'll do a, a revision of this flight but i think this is pretty good at least we got to see the area we got to see the mountains so it gives you a good feel for what it looks like out this way and yeah that's it so i will see you in the next video